Hungry? Order your favorite meals and drinks from hundreds of restaurants through the best app and have your food delivered to your doorstep. Download the Afri delivery app now. Okay, how do, how, how do you come out of this? Let's, let's, so what happens now? You're in Kenya, that's where you've left this story. Yeah, so I decided to come back and the, my family was very highly against it. Mm. I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I'm like, no, I have to face my problems. People I left there are not my employees, that's my family. Oh, so, powerful. So what happens to them if I decide? Because I could shut down, I'll still be fine. I'll be okay. So I come back and I face everything head on. The first thing I do is negotiate. Mm -hmm. Negotiate. Okay, this is what I owe you. Cool. This is how I'll pay you. First of all, I dilute a bit. To get some capital injection. Yeah, to get some capital. So I sort out the headaches. Okay. Even my my dilution was not at the right time. It was very it was very minimal though. I didn't feel it. Mm. Like how what percentage? It was slightly above ten percent. Okay. Yeah. So. So less than less than twenty. Yeah. Okay. So I, so I I sort out these issues and then I. That's a really bad time to dilute a business yeah. when you're desperate for finance yeah. for cash. Yeah. And I had tried to go to banks, nothing, and my cash flow was good, man. Up to this time, my cash flow was pretty good. It has always been good. Okay. So yeah. you you sort out the headaches. The guys who are. And the headaches are not necessarily the big boys. It's just the guys who are on your over, excessively on your case. Yeah. Uh huh. People yeah. just go. Yeah, but don't worry. The the. Okay. Yeah. People that are on my case. And then, uh, so I do that. So that gives me some room now to breathe. But then I make commitments. I'm like, you know what? Effective today. This is what I'll be paying you. Okay. And I keep. I'd mm -hmm. going and I keep it going and I keep it going and I keep it going and I notice that my liabilities are reducing significantly. So what I do is I zip all the loopholes, I make sure they're gone. So now you fire people. Yeah, a lot. I changed a lot of departments. I think I just kept like two people that I felt needed to stay. Three people. Everyone else out. Everyone else in major departments. Okay, and riders? Riders stay. Okay. Yeah, I fire yeah, I fire quite a number of them. Riders. Yeah. But majority of them stayed, okay. and they were very sad. Anyway, so yeah, take some guys to court, so on and so forth. So I try and now face these issues head on. Uh, and then now we control our spend, how we're spending money. Mm -hmm. So that also helps. And then I noticed that two months, three months in, our liabilities are heavily reduced. And we keep going and then we keep going and then we keep going and then the relationships now are starting to come back uh and then during that time this december december 2020 january feb our business dipped because of number one the rain season so the rain season affects a lot mm -hmm. and then i also believe i think also our users were trying the competitors at some point so I, they left and they came back but then I notice in March our business now starts going up again. Hmm. Goes up, goes up, goes up. Why goes do you up. think your 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 users, if they left to go to your competitors, why do you think they came back to you? I don't know, because maybe they felt they. I, don't, I think they felt like they got more value from us. Hmm. Yeah. And they were also. Uh, it's like when a new club opens, people sample it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they no longer sample it anymore. They just. Yeah. And it had built a great bond with our users. Yeah. So most of them were just going there for the freebies because they were giving a lot of free stuff. Ah, okay. Yeah. I get. And then eventually, once business normalized, they came back. Mm. So I noticed business started going up. Now we're able not to sustain ourselves properly. Our, I, 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 I managed to stay sane now i'm okay lafaj you talk, had to sit down with yeah last year in september yeah, yeah. Uh, but now, you remember you've told me you've cancelled the contract or they didn't or they ignored you no they didn't ignore we had another sit down oh serious you cancelled yeah so we decided to renegotiate 
Ah, uh, you are not your terms are not good. Yeah, they were not good at that time. Okay. But they didn't know they were not good. They thought they were good until now I put everything on the table and told them, man, I'm not making anything here. And my costs were unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I, I think I underestimated how uh how open they were to hearing my concerns. Oh, nice. Yeah. And after that, that became my best relationship ever. I, I, and then now, I had just contacted their CEO and asked him to be, whether he would mind being my mentor. Ah, that's powerful. Why? Because before you had nobody to talk to. No, nobody. Nobody told me anything. Nobody. All these years anything. that you've been in Zambia. Yeah. From a, from a. People don't know me. You'll be very shocked at how many people yeah, say, I know "Oh, Kenyans don't even know you." No, so I guess must even be Kenyans, by even, this even Zambians. They'd be like, "Oh, you're the guy." I'm sure you've seen that. <laughs> yeah, you're I've seen guy. that a lot. You're the guy behind. It's Pompey all knows everybody, but Pompey he yeah. knows about Afri delivery, yeah. but he didn't know you. Yeah. Even most restaurants don't know me. <laughs> they don't. And I walk in you. there casually. Few people know me. Very, very few. And has also that, now, has that been intentional though? It wasn't oh. intentional. It, it, I would want them to know me. I would have wanted them to know me. But let me tell you, entrepreneurship hammers you to a point where, first of all, all your confidence goes. Mm. So you get to a point where you're afraid that if they know you, they only tell you about what's not working instead of telling you what's. They magnify that uh-huh. negativity on you. Mm. Understand complaints and so on and so forth. I didn't mind them. But let me hear them from my 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 team because my team will be a bit reasonable. Mm. They will tell me this is a valid complaint. This one is not. Mm. Okay. And then also I noticed there was a certain ten percent cannot be working, but they'll make that ten percent yeah, feel like it's ninety yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah. But I also noticed there was a certain perception they had because of course a few things my style when I walk in. Aha! Uh-huh, yeah. Your youthful look. First yeah. of all, how old are you? I'm thirty-two now. <laughs> yeah. You're 32. Yeah. Okay. So the whole fact that you've got tattoos. Yeah. And let me ask a straight up question. Companies like this are normally run by whites. Yeah. Did that affect? My, uh, yeah. Are people shocked to know that Afri Delivery is a black-owned? Yeah. Yeah. Business? My, my employees told me the most often question they ask is whether their boss is white. Yeah. That's what they told me. What? <laughs> yeah. And I've seen, and I've seen, I've I've seen conversation dying off when when I meet people when I walk into a room and see the conversation dying slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos. Uh, I'm like, yeah, it's me black because, because even when I'm going to the office, I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy. And sneakers. Uh-huh. Dress code. Yeah, it's just me. So you listen to me. If it makes sense to you, cool. If it doesn't, I don't have to prove myself to that point where I now have to dress in suits and so on. My hustle for the next 10 years, for the last 10 years, has done that for me. Mm. So if you can't see any value, then uh, trust me, this is not where you belong. I've done that. I've, I've gone through that phase. Yeah, <laughs> so take it or leave it, my friend. Okay. Yeah. That okay. has been, it has been a hit. Uh, and I've, I've seen, I remember one, I wouldn't mention the name. I remember one com- guy that came very excited to the office. And that guy left 10 minutes later at the office and he never called ever again. Because you're a black guy in yeah. with tattoos and jeans. Yeah, I'm not the the idea of what such a CEO should look like or behave and so on. Okay, let's talk about now. Yeah. I l- so you are are you in the green you I have I've heard you say often now is when we're doing profits. Yeah. Um, just random questions. You don't have to answer again. I always give people the opportunity to keep what, what they believe should be private, private yeah. and what's and public, public.